scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Mighty in my life. Hallelujah. It is with that scepter we are instructed. He said, Rule thou. Rule thou. It is a discourse. Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. I'd like you to pray and say, Every mountain that stands before me tonight, a scepter is given to me. I rule. I rule over financial limitations. I rule. Sicknesses, I rule over witchcraft. My thoughts cannot I have been mandated to walk in dominion. It's an instruction I must obey. It's an instruction I must obey. I have been mandated. Spirit of the living God, I pray that tonight will be a night of strange impartations. I pray tonight that scepters, mantles, those who have let their scepters fall will pick it back again and with it they will do mighty things. You have authorized this series. Lord, we decree and declare 
that that mandate to dominate must begin to speak in our lives over situations over circumstances over the vicissitudes of life we arise hallelujah praise the lord david dam said something when he came to collect them um, to take the testimonies he said that or when he came to you know lead the worship he said it's one thing to hear the word but it's another thing to become that experience this is what we are trusting god i i prayed with all my heart and i said god it's a total waste of this series if at the end of it we do not command strange dominion in our lives i tell you the truth we would have wasted our time and made god look like a liar it would be a total waste of time just a lecture a theological dissertation if at the end of this time somebody cannot turn and look at what used to make you run and turn back and say i'm not running again something has been given in my hand one more prayer and then you sit down i cause fear the fear that stops me to, from rising i decree and declare that tonight i will face my fears lift your voice and pray i will face it no more running away no more running away grace is supplied tonight i will face my fears and challenge it until i defeat it the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage fear keeps you in bondage fear of failure fear of death fear of weaknesses fear of limitations fear of the past hallelujah hallelujah please be seated if you can I want your spirit to be very sensitive tonight when i was praying for this meeting all that i saw was this handing of scepters that's why you heard me talking about it that there are three things that make a king any animal can claim to be the king of the jungle but the jungle itself knows who the king is an elephant because of his size can think he's the king of the jungle a giraffe can think he's the king of the jungle but when the lion roars hear me when the lion roars we were furnished after the order of the lion i came angry tonight in my spirit there is a time to laugh and joke but there is a time to take your destiny and say no way that door must open hallelujah hear me nothing works by itself you have to learn this nothing works by itself there are doors in our lives and destinies that we must force them to open otherwise they will never open hallelujah we've been looking at the dominion mandate tonight is the last part of the series part three part one we looked at the original plan god's original agenda his his plans can change but his purposes are eternal his purposes mean his intentions. His plan means the methodology. His approach. His approach alters because he needs man to work with him. And many times man will not cooperate adequately. So he will have to invent another strategy. But his purposes are eternal. And then last week we looked at discipleship. The second dimension of dominion. Training for reigning. The spiritual system allocated to the saints that helps them, that equips them. I told us that man was created in the image and the likeness of God. The image of man talks about the spiritual quality of God deposited in man. The capacity to be supernatural, the capacity to be divine, the capacity to interact with both realms, that you are both spiritual as much as natural hallelujah and then we shared a few things how that the bible says 
that it is they who have received the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace they are the ones who are authorized to reign in life we looked at discipleship as the spiritual system that initiates men to understand the principles of god are we together now that the image of christ and his likeness his likeness talks about his functionality and i spoke to us about the god of systems how that the order of god's progression is that he creates a template a model of a thing and then designs systems around it for continuity god's pattern for continuity is to design systems around things and it is still true today there is nothing that continues when you do not design a system around it god created man once woman once and never had to do it again and there are 7.2 billion people who are alive aside from those who have died because he planted a system are we together now he watered the garden and put plants once and he deposited a system in the plants for continuity so we must be trained i made a statement that promise reiterated in this kingdom who trains you and how you are trained can make the difference in your manifesting dominion it matters that you are trained and it matters who trains you and how you are trained because many of us have been victims of zeal that has been abused as a result of ignorance or lack of training so we largely guess our way so part one was the original plan part two is the system of equipping discipleship we call it and part three is governance we are looking at governance tonight how kings reign that's what we are going to be discussing tonight there is a way kings reign the system of governance our dominion is delegated our dominion is not absolute dominion you have to take note of this absolute dominion means you are sovereign in your decisions unsupervised man was not given absolute dominion he was given delegated dominion we call it theologically speaking shared dominion that mystery is what was shown in the sun and the moon the moon also gives light but the moon's light is shared it does not have illumination of itself so the price of the moon is to align to the sun and then it reflects back to the earth the light of the sun so our dominion is shared dominion our dominion is delegated dominion are we together authority comes from the greek word exousia the capacity to stand in the office of a man not necessarily in his absence but he steps out and allows you or he builds a branch of his influence and puts you in charge that's dominion the pastor for instance of let's say redeemed zaria is the head of that parish but that authority is delegated are we together because there is still a headquarters and he receives order but as far as that jurisdiction the jurisdiction of zaria is concerned every activity that happens within that jurisdiction is left to that person everybody say governance governance talks about execution governance talks about legislature creating or enforcing laws hallelujah most christians never ever walk in dominion david don't be ready to sing this song for me he's playing very powerful song are we together that there is a system with which the saints reign I hope you know that in the garden of eden there were no apostles there were no prophets there were no teachers there were no churches there were no um what do we call it conferences i told us in part one how that redemption was a restoration process to restore us back but for many believers who are walking on the earth like fugitives like vagabonds hoping that the trumpet will announce our rest let me tell you something it is a very unfruitful way of living 
the scope of christianity for an average believer is being in christ and walking in a lifetime of doubt and fear wondering whether you will make heaven or not and trusting the sound of a trumpet to prove if you disappear then you are glad you made it a victorious god would not design such a poor system even men with our limited understanding we have designed intelligent systems god cannot design such a foolish system and keep a man 80 years on earth and the only reason why that man was on earth was to born to be born hand his life to christ and wait until the day he goes to heaven heaven is real heaven is true but let me tell you something god's ultimate goal is not just to go to heaven we are returning god's ultimate goal is to be able to satisfy the fullness of his eternal counsel are we together and this will happen when we fulfill the dominion mandate the mandate to take control to take charge of earth god is always interested in earth notice that everything that has happened in the bible even every time heaven was mentioned it was with respect to earth there's something god wants to be fulfilled here and we are the ones mandated to make it happen governance the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is an ancient word that qualifies like you say daughter of daughters son of sons the heaven of heavens listen belongs to god but he says the earth still part of his kingdom but he has allocated to the sons of men in other words listen carefully brothers and sisters the chaos that is happening in the earth is not the will of god the sicknesses the poverty are we together now the the ugly manifestation of darkness the failures that come to the life of people the spiritual bankruptcy within the nations is a proof that the saints have largely not come into the fullness of God's expectation as far as kingdom governance is concerned. Now in the earth when we vote a governor or a counselor or whatever kind of political leader, we look forward to seeing changes within that, that socioeconomic system. When we see roads being built, hospitals rehabilitated, schools rehabilitated, we now turn back to the person and we say, you have done a good job. And then we do our best to make sure we give him another tenure. But in a situation where under the watch of that person, several things go bad. We turn back to the person and say, you are, this is poor legislature. This is poor execution. It's a sign that you are not serious and you are not qualified for that office. That's why I said God is rehanding over scepters to men. Many of us do not understand what this means. Dominion has evidences. The order and the dexterity that is around your life is a sign that you are alive. The Bible says something very interesting. When you read um, Psalm 8 and then you go to Hebrew chapter 2. Um, don't turn there. I will give us the verses later on. But he was speaking about Paul was making reference to the Psalm of David. And he says, What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. He says, You have made him a little lower than Elohim, crowned him with glory and you know power, and you have set him over the works of your hands. Now listen. And he says, In doing so, you did not leave anything. There was absolutely nothing that includes hiv listen carefully that includes other sicknesses that have not yet been fabricated by the gate of hell that are still coming i hope you know that there are still plagues coming plagues that will make hiv look like malaria hell enlarging itself raising an assault against the saints but jesus said i will build my church and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Governance. So I'm going to be teaching us how kings reign. And God's system of governance will be very fast because I want us to pray. We trust God for a supply of great grace tonight. In the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 1. 
the book of the beginnings are you ready david sing that song for us while we powerful song for those of you coming here for the first time this is koinonia a habitation that is absolutely conducive for the holy spirit and this is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 now I want to show you the system of shared dominion we see it here are we together and God said read the next two words one to go let us I'll tell you what else to read make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the godhead let us there is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to god's sovereign power and wisdom the saints can never tap into that dimension any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that lucifer did let us that's the first revelation i want you to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead 
the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does just, just mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of god in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have sat for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are giving any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he's mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have dominion mm. read for me 
verse 20 and 21 20 and 21 please let me show you something about water read are you a christian we are reading 20 and 21 ready and god said stop where did the creatures come out from read your bible where did they come out of are you seeing that now let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where hey. <laughs> That may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come I give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was Solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your bible <laughs> i want a child and that word is transported to a region where it should not be and you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him and comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost the power the air is so important satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me i want to many of you think satan is down this air is where mysteries happen whoever takes control of the spiritual climate the air the physical atmosphere you will be so blessed tonight i want to open your eyes to certain things there is a way kings reign it's not just by speaking i will never be this calm down just let's take it easy and you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling we talk and think that because we are mentioning right words uh -uh. and over what is the third territory the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen Genesis 1 26 is not an is not a suggestion it's not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the Bible say I said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the Godhead he said this man we have made let 
them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind god needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes god will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask god are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no i passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 And God blessed them and said unto them, These are the facets that are contained in dominion. Number one, be fruitful. Be fruitful. There is no dominion without fruitfulness. Number two, multiply. That means God's idea is not just that you rule alone. To multiply means that your seed, your seed, your seed must also partake in governance not just your physical seed your seed is anything that comes out of you your ideas are we together where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves god and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances and prevail over them that's how you have dominion upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes. there must be a system of continuity replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden in the east of eden an authorized man that through a system that man will extend that garden all over the earth god never created the whole earth 
and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of eden the garden of eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from eden and now use them to reproduce earth governance entails a number of things we must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us our concept of governance is usurping authority over men are we together when we say you are in governance even from a kingdom dimension many people's idea is that i have two or three people that answer yes sir to me and once they see that they say wow i am in governance and then i ill treat them in the public to show that i have some kind of superior advantage that is not dominion that is oppression oppression everywhere this template of oppression was told there was rebellion somewhere sometime read it all through scripture pharaoh oppressed the people of god for a long time one day they were tired god too was tired he joined them and together they sank into the red sea and their lives that kingdom that dynasty just went places you do not oppress men oppression is not dominion let me talk about oppression before i talk about this do you know what oppression is oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also it's a dangerous state it's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of god whose idea of fatherhood whose idea of mentorship is oppression is witchcraft we take away the liberty of people i don't mean accountability we literally create a theology that makes us own people we own their lives we own their time are you ready for oppression number two unemployment forever is oppression hmm. did you hear what i said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man awesome according to scripture read your bible employment employment as we know started with jacob and laban is that true god would work with people and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built but a time must come you don't need to have a new platform but you no longer receive salary you become a partaker of the blessings of that system this is god's system are we together but it was laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers and he found out that there was something on jacob and he said i will leave this guy i will keep dipping him enough to remain with me 
then one day jacob asked a question and said i have served you when will i now go and have my own house when will i build my own life and laban said don't ever bring that statement again does that sound like employment i will keep you here and then later he said okay i need a wife and this guy look at how wicked he was when he knew that he was going to get his wife this man suffered for seven good years when it was time to have his wife what happened they changed them is that true and then kept him again look how jacob suffered like a fool he was the one who was doing the work but who was the credit going to listen any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people, the tribe that does this well are evil people today. You see it? They are using that kingdom system. That's why there is continuity. So they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while. Is that true? And then eventually, they now start telling him, okay, we leave you in the shop. And then one day, there's what we call settling. Am I right, evil people? And that settling, you don't just say, okay, go back to your father's house. No. You are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation you don't necessarily need to have your own corporation are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate that's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there and for as long as they are there forever you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye that's a cost system you don't like what you're hearing Huh. you better like it too because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people in the name of spiritual fatherhood i believe in fatherhood i believe in mentorship but there are people today who own the atms of people there are pastors who own the atms of people there are pastors who own they can tell anybody bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even um in in ancient times there was a season called jubilee jubilee after every seven year there was a sabbath and then after 49 years seven sets of sabbaths the 50th year was declared a year of jubilee and at that year you will release every slave not just release them to go but empower them no matter what happened to them but you can empower them and they can say you have been a good master for me i don't want to go in that case you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression so I just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel I need to go back to my house. Dominion mandate. My wife has not been listening to me. Now that I'm going back, she will know that I have dominion. Where are you? From today, you cook what I eat. 
that's 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 not it there are several people from several nations listening and it's, it, it will be costly to assume we need to define the concepts here that we are stating so that people do not oppress people a man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say i am your father you must listen to me oppression everywhere from the bible and through history where there was oppression there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually how do kings reign how do we execute this dominion mandate when it comes to execution and legislature what are the systems what are the dimensions of dominion number one how do we dominate in this kingdom the ministry of prayer number one i want to show you how kings legislate how we dominate the ministry of prayer philippians chapter 4 please 6 and 7 you will not suffer my food to be i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Mortal man awesome god Mortal man awesome god be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution. That's not what he's saying. Are we together? It, it, it describes um, the, the resistance that comes as a result of fear, of uncertainty. And he says, be careful for nothing, but in everything. By what? Prayer and supplication. Let your request. The authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how about god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made it says by prayer and supplication then with thanksgiving this is the system the same way when you have a company if pastor alpha has a company now and say i'm his secretary he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table are we together there are others you need to write and sign we need five bags of this 10 bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggie and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste
believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request know. make it known through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of dom of dominion then we'll round up all right first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it oh we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you i, I trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors God grants you access to their hearts. Oh, that stupid boss. Stupid, stupid man. He removed 10,000 from my salary. God is hearing you. Now, you would think he will win because it's true that he removed that. There is something about authority that even God respects. He says, pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty. Verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Uh-huh. Who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city 
do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those a, a territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are armed robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost act that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that, that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers it's one of the ways you know that a city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread i'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in zaria men and women zaria zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed some of them did not even know what was leading them every night every day in zaria there is always something happening somebody is praying somewhere in your room at the back of one fence somewhere under a tree prayer doesn't matter the location and gradually you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign 
the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many so people don't like to pray it's a lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication is more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire i've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gouda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn through your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to prayer and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i'm a, I'm a you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snow your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i changed this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look god is the god of all flesh the, the curtain has been torn uh, you know left and right there's no priest again no mediator and and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage we come up and stand bragging making our voices husky and god is here right now and uh, you're about to see what will happen here and at the end and you know members are very dangerous people they note everything you say you said the power of god will move so they are waiting 
at the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are they are, they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know i have discovered that over 60 percent i'll repeat what i just said but listen over 60 percent of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction direction what to do where to go lord should i be in zaria now or should i leave lord is this house your will for me or not if the issue of direction is sorted out many people will not be where they are prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody's rising nobody's succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school though it's not old school no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that god is in what you are doing please i beg you in the name of jesus pay it to marry pay it i think i, I god gave me a brain i feel like having 11 children you better pray you better pray pray don't let carnality drive us we live I, i'm very serious carnality has destroyed many people we don't seek god for direction we seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired we now run and say god why didn't you stop me and god said me no i gave you a will i've already said let them have dominion if you return back to me prayer is a sign of humility it's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated prayer is a great sign of humility imagine that you make somebody maybe a director in your company and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any problem? no 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 boss I'm, I'm okay i mean you just taught me and then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing and say why didn't you come say boss i've told you shabby you say if i need i will come there you are destroying that man's company and your pride prayerlessness is pride though it's not just sin it's pride 
will i be able to live my life without prayer leading a ministry like this you know many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication are we together when you know that let me tell you the truth ask those who are close to me i pray to get topics it doesn't mean i don't plan but i sit down and i pray lord please speak to me speak to me speak to me the goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar calendar events the goal is to find out make sure what you are saying is what the spirit is saying because when you say what god is not saying he cannot back you remember in the book of ezekiel is wherever the spirit goes that the cherubims follow you see that don't just come and bring nonsense and want god to back you god is not a house boy we must respect him to prayer if you are here and you have never joined the prayer department even if it's for once for prayer why don't you make it this tuesday apostle i don't feel like praying that's why you should know your life is under attack so one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire say in the name of jesus i receive grace to return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs you that you are not doing anything now you want a free job in one year free wife twins what, what kind of demand in this world oh come on pray take charge of climate you get up in the morning you are happy you are going to take a serious trip you are hearing that people are dying on the road it's not to plant fear you don't you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you as you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person i have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls Shakatabata. oh god fire in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible say while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ass off ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down he will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life 
are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Judas. jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that paul saw please we must pray every church service must have a section allocated for prayer no matter how small i don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a, a bible study session is whatever it is a prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service for step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days why do we pray we pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories why do we pray as a system of dominion to exercise spiritual influence your church will never grow if you don't pray your church will never grow just because you are anointed no there are many anointed people who never experience growth you need to pray why because a great door and an effectual has been opened but many adversaries satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace you must pray satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you you must pray don't assume pray it's better for there to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. Help me see that I saw it listen if you don't pray things will be happening above you you will never know and you will sit down who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh.
happened in one minute i like you to blast in the spirit just just shake up your spirit we are men and women of dominion through prayers we take charge of our climate we take charge of our territories we stay in the hands of evil Come on, pray, pray, believers. Hallelujah. Listen, let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Japos Kataratosia. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon. Hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? some bad dreams are not from demons they are a sign they are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong wake up wake up the spirit is willing this body you have drunk it with food you have drunk it with carnality no capacity to stand up and legislate hallelujah hallelujah you are going to sit down shortly but listen to me if you don't have an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life you are not growing you are not a spiritual person please hear me by god's grace and i say it with all humility i think with all humility i'll be one of the busiest persons in this place i travel all the time I don't pray at the same rate every day but you must allocate time time where if you if need be you switch your phone if you can keep it on keep it on but pray all this issue of i have a program somewhere i have a wedding somewhere is it not when you are alive i'm not talking of praying as a result of fear you are a king there is a scepter on your hand let them remember this word let them if you must sanitize your environment it is up to you fathers teach your children how to pray not just how to go to school teach them how to pray when you are praying carry them don't say they are small they are sleepy that's why we thank god for these are little ones if they sleep let them sleep while prayer is going hear me samuel was lying down close to the ark 
that's why he had the voice of god you don't hear the voice of god everywhere he said above the mercy seat below the cherubims there i will meet with you and i will relate with you intimately please sit down why do we pray prayer gives you the access to the heart of god and the heart of men let me teach you dominion why do we pray it gives you access hear me there are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart there are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you they will never release it until god gives you their heart he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down wait and and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense a lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go you have been begging he's not listening he's saying bring this bring that or come and meet me somewhere you are saying sir let me move it's because you don't understand dominion all right sir i've heard you shut us Regete kotos kapari akata. Carry your cause, uh, your your cause form. Put it on the ground. Blast in tongues and declare, I may be your student in the physical, but I'm a king in the spirit. I decree and declare, you must let me go. Masas kota baya. Sign chapter three. Oh, regete kata kata. The next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey you again well, well, well as he's signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and turned the hand of things to work in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word Look at how many of our parents not moving forward. You are asking them what is wrong. They say, eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years. They fired the, an arrow. His leg is not working. And now your father is about to be 50. And all of you in the family are watching and laughing. Watching and laughing. You don't watch and laugh. I've shared with you my story. My father's younger brother died like a chicken. My father's elder brother died like a chicken. I have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit. I stopped it. Come on now. Refuse to allow things just move around in your life. You have, you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family. You get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them. Then you come as a fake prophet and say, I saw it. What did you do about it? Listen, prophets cried in the Bible when things happened and they did not see. They said, Lord, why did you hide this from me? God hid things from prophets if he wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it, they would stop it. Do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority 
I invoke the power of my secret place and I decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the God of heaven I curse them now I curse their operation I curse them now I curse their operation if you let the devil he will kill you I tell you this thing the Bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that is an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open can we pray in one minute a favor provoking prayer and say i command the gates of favor open the way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees the power of words write it down kings reign by passing decrees ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4 media help us please we have to conserve time because i want us to pray kings reign by passing decrees the same way in the national house of assembly they sit down and legislate it passes first reading second reading and they pass it into law whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is passing decree is not just prayer passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit that i decree and declare that nobody nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family that's a decree elijah passed a decree there will be no rain i make it so let me tell you something listen the diviners and the witches in our villages this is how they program the destiny of men they invoke decrees nobody crosses 25 in this family even when they die the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree there must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere if you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up i didn't see very successful people from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a curse able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious ah, the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 no, no. i reject it ah marriage is now you see the way it is i'm only praying for you i hope you will like your marriage you may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public but you keep quiet in your heart no way mine is heaven on earth i make that choice decrease kings reign by decrease let me show you something isaiah 43 verse 26 isaiah 43 verse 26 
while the media is trying to give us that i want you to write this down hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 the bible says god upholds all things by the word of his power even god uphold, upholds the universe read with me the b part please from let us everybody is projected one to read let us plead together uh-huh go ahead declare thou that what so how are you justified in the spirit you declare if you say i am free god says satan you had him he's done that's why the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so not wish so let the unemployed who want jobs say so not wish so when confession is made with understanding it is powerful it no longer becomes vain babbling my life is surrounded by words i have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries number three sit down the third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual this is talking about a man we call in the bible a popular scripture a man called bezalel are we together the tabernacle was about to be constructed and god had to move upon a man called bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent he will innovate our world today especially the church we are bankrupt of creativity that's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrees are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to walk in gold and in silver and in brass last verse and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to face your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed 
when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor God and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why I hate laziness laziness is anti dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like I said we fast just like I said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds Versace Gucci right Angela Galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together Bishop David Oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seeds somebody says I read his book and I've been changed parents are your children are your seeds rising to take over he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth Psalms 112 his seed shall be mighty his seed not have a mighty name a big name is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses where are the conglomerates where are the value adding structures we almost don't have it in church we sit around and we brag and we're happy that's why I encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence. I've said it like a national anthem. I will not pastor weak people. I'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter. No. That's why I'm a friend to politicians. That's why I'm a friend to kings. You don't have to be corrupted by them. But you can stand. I believe in influence. Are we together? Is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing yek because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed yes when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask Ali Kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply I think eight hours by the number of workers I have that's how many hours I have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime God is a God of transference. At a point in your life, you're, you should be able to end the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else. A mother who has five children, none of them can cook. That's a bad testimony for a mother. A father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances has never taught them on marriage has never mentored them on being a man just leaves them to chance that's why many young people are not successful you know why there is no transference no transference in jewish days fathers worked with their sons when they became teenagers they said hey settle down let me teach you how to be a man you don't guess it i teach you manhood is responsibility this oh yeah i allocate a farm for you go and work but right now as a student if you are doing any other thing they say don't do any other thing no settle down school but you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say you're a very nice person you see how we make people lazy 
you see an able-bodied young man a christian tongue talker comes to stand in front of your house and say i've not eaten there are grasses everywhere grasses everywhere why don't you sit down and say let me see how i can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen I want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem I think there is something that the people within SS2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when i'm eating your food that's dominion because it came from you a product of your creativity listen write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the guts to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh God, go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extramoral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you you trust god and pray and have 50 to 100 students will you beg for bread again we want something for nothing this laziness in africa is a cause parents please i challenge you any of your child that is matured enough tell him from today listen you are not just going to be getting free money after every month mommy i need money the next time i see grass in this house there's no salary for you it looks harsh but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of nine hundred thousand. who do you think will give you the money start in your room there are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity very soon they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen dominion they start exporting it we're about rounding up but lay your hands on your head and pray one minute Lord everything you have buried within me that I'm to dominate with that seed I prophesy it must come out I command the books to come out I command the programs to come up are you praying please don't let the devil say you will not succeed do it and fail but prophesy let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus let the exercise books come out in the name of Jesus let the award-winning tailoring I'm, I'm outfit come out let the extra moral center come out let the business come out let the bank come out let the investment house come out
Hallelujah. Please sit down. I want you to know after today, I want you to go and sit down. Please. Especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything. Don't just pray and say, God, when will you wipe my tears? That's a foolish prayer. Go and sit down. Find a good friend and sit down. And say, no, we have to do something. We are, do it and fail. Failure does not kill. Do it. How much do you have? 100,000, 300,000. Let's have an agreement and sit down. At least you have 500, I have 500. He can buy one golf. We can buy a golf and start. Put it on the road. It's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week. We are starting. All this laziness around that people just do and say, I'm a king. You are not a king. Dominion through creativity. In fact, there is a message like that. You can get it after the, after the service. Some of you plot. And your plotting is unusually exceptional. Why don't you package it? Why don't you package it? Some of you sing. Worship team. Some of you are looking at me. God is telling you it's time. There are some of you. There is a day worship team will produce the album. But start writing songs. Write songs. How many songs have you written? Two. When will you write the rest? God is helping me. You are not serious. You are absolutely not serious. Are you not seeing in the body of Christ now? People are tapping into their innate creativity. I'm not only a man of God. I'm many other things. I'm a businessman. I'm a leader. Over people. I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion. Dominion. Covenant University. Landmark University. Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos. And he carried six books. And he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Max Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker start speaking don't wait until there are people speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself god will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained are we together there is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity there is a dimension of dominion the aliko dangotes and the 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 oprah winfrey's and the bill gates and even in the body of christ Great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within. Not just to complete a number of courses. Are we together now? Our educational system, we salute it, but it's limited in many ways. And one of it is in supplying, stimulating creativity. You must reinvent yourself. There is no such thing as being educated. You are learning or you are out. Don't say I'm educated. You are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out. Make up your mind today. That I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are uncommon mentors in every area in this house. Whether it is in business, whether it is in finance, whether it is in leadership. Koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas. You have not identified them because you are not passionate. Pursuit is proof of passion. You must find out and search. Who can help me? I, I have a passion for leadership. Who can help me? Not to sit and say, when will they organize something to help us now? It will never happen. We like free things. We are careless and callous. And you know, we have to challenge ourselves. It is the secret of poverty. Secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen. I know, Abba, is it not the God of Koinonia? 
I know one day he will visit me. You can dance all your life and remain the way you are. Fall down under the anointing, roll up and down and get up. You have commanded dominion. Realities are ready to be released in the spirit. But there is no creativity, no innovation. Next week is miracle service, is it? Oh dear. I would have added one more part. It's too late. There are two more things I have to talk about. There is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding. Let me just state them quickly. Maybe another time we'll do a recap. I really apologize. Wisdom and understanding. That's the next point. Part of the ministry of the dominion mandate. We dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding it's a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we're going to verse 15 16 17 doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice so these are spirits these are personalities these are not just attributes that men have are we together 15 now to 17 then we're going 22 to 24 verse 15 says okay by me kings reign and princes decree what justice 16 by me princes rule so how do you rule wisdom understanding and nobles even the judges of all the earth there's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding 17 i love them that love me and those who seek me what you can seek wisdom later and not find it because it takes time 22 to 24 the lord possessed me yeah 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 are you a christian the lord possessed me what in the beginning of his way before the works of old 23 I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was that means before this earth concept came i was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24. when there were no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water i wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was i mean it, it was all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me, help me, wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me, love death. They have chosen to be defeated in life. Anyone who hates wisdom, anyone who hates understanding, is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me. All they who hate me, love death. Wisdom and understanding. There is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom. Insight into the systems of God. And having the fortitude, the faculty, the comprehension 
the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth oppressed through wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of god was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of god and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song 
I'll be singing forever Holy is the Lord Holy is the Lord Listen Everybody say dominion Through power Say it again, dominion Through power Many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and he said no i i have been anointed in koinonia I, I, there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of Jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick I say give me your hands I lay my hands on them I say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies I laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrease you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church you're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world all of us must possess this if we really need results it's your faith 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 my faith reaches out to you and i believe your word Listen, let me tell you something about faith most of us our understanding about faith is just for reception but faith is also an instrument of defense ephesians 6 verse 16 therefore holding forth the shield because there are times between prophecy and manifestation you will need to stand faith becomes the weapon you use to shield yourself that when another word comes and says kai can you imagine pastor alpha is this thing really working and then the shield of faith you lift it and he said no way i know that my redeemer liveth is working if it's working show me the evidence faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen he says above all taking the shield of what faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench 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 the fiery darts of the enemy listen faith is the result of an understanding faith is the result of an understanding it produces persuasion it's from the greek word pistis conviction based on an understanding he says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded just like i'm persuaded that someone's testimony will turn around i mean somebody's life will turn around tonight i am persuaded
Listen, it's not just what you do that produces result, but the faith that backs what you do. The conviction that backs what you do. Faith is powerful. The Bible says by it, the elders obtain a good report. So if you need a good report, you will need that faith to obtain it tonight. And there are many of us who are trusting God for good reports. You want to change the doctor's report. You want to change every kind of nonsense report that the devil has brought. It will take faith. It will take faith. Conviction. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it everyone. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe in the power of God. I believe that nothing is impossible for God. And tonight, God, through his spirit, will birth my testimony. I believe that with all my heart. I came in, there were people in Abuja, my Bible, uh, at the back of my Bible is full of all kinds of people's prayer requests. You cannot imagine people dropping their prayer requests. Apostle, please, as you are going back, can we drop our prayer requests all the way? Because there is a God that answers prayers. Please hear me, Koinonia. Tonight, like we prayed earlier on, I want you to get angry with the situation in your life. You see, I cannot make you tired of it. I can only encourage you. He said, woe to them who are at ease in Zion. The day you are tired, you will change. Let today be that day. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Lord, my time has come. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, this health thing, I can't remain sick forever. No. This SS genotype, this HIV, this cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer point and then we'll begin to minister. I'd like you to say, Lord, grace to not doubt you tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer point in our lives. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, whatever must come upon my life for me to move forward. Hold on. Let it come. And whatever must leave me. I have no loyalty to you. I don't care where you came from. Tonight I part ways with you forever. Lift your voice and pray. anointing that must land upon my life today. Every grace, every spirit, every dimension tonight you must come upon my life and everything that must leave me. I'm tired of any luggage upon my destiny. Koinonia, are you praying? Those online, make sure you are praying. Right where you are, at your homes or wherever you are streaming from. 
Bada teka tura paka sodo bregele bela de bos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. One of the graces I'm trusting God to come upon our life is grace for accelerated advancement. Listen, listen. There are many of us, our pace of movement is slow. You can't look at your life and say, A, B, C has happened within this time. It's not a good testimony. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I must move. Oh, I must move. There must be advancement. The overflows. Make sure you are praying. God is sharing you where you are. Shabarada balada 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 balada. Yes, oh God. I'm parting ways forever. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen. You must contend with prophecy. Oh, this bad luck upon my life must leave. I was not cursed like that. Even if it's a curse, it must go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a war to them who are at in Zion. There is enough function tonight to deliver the result you desire, except you are not interested. If you truly are interested and you are angry enough, tonight is not the time to spectate and pinch and gist. Anybody does that kind of thing for you tonight, know that the spirit is using that person. You can't come here and waste your time. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for you. I'm about to speak. Please, I want you to pray. Mention every negative thing that you know has happened, patterns in your life that you know must change and say, God, arise for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, it must go over my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 Before God deals with our lives, we are going to be praying first and foremost that God will deal with our families. See, let me tell you something. It's not your fault that you came from that family. But it's your fault if you allow what came from there to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying, oh Koinonia. Believe what I'm saying. I love you too much to not lie to you. There are, there are ties and strongholds that are stopping people from rising. Lift your hands, everybody. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Now listen. Don't get too used to the fact that it's just about speaking. 
and then people fall under the anointing and come be serious while prayers are going because it is at the word of God they respond they are listening to me I'm speaking but until the command is given there is nothing to confirm I want to pray many of you will be very surprised open up your spirit it's time for God to visit you and visit your families hallelujah lift your hands please my God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit pointed arrows. Listen. Pointed arrows. Pointed arrows. And on those arrows I see like papers placed on the arrows containing the names of people, names of families, names of territories. That's what the Lord is showing me right now. And we're going to pray. Listen, the power of God is going to come very strongly upon people. It's, it's not just you, but your family. Are we together? And once that happens, know that the time has come. You pray it and declare that deliverance. Lift your hands. I want to pray now. Father, you brought us here to change lives change testimonies hallelujah hallelujah god is giving me a very crazy instruction just lift your left hand be stupid i've started my stupidity just follow me quietly just lift your left hand up to god and let me do the speaking you don't have to say anything Please, all those who I'm going to speak to now that the power of God comes on them, let's begin to have them outside. <sighs> Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. My God, I'm seeing so many people. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just responding to the Spirit. Lord, you ask us to lift our left hands up. Whatever that means. There are people. I see fire right now. It's going to begin to come on people. Lord, the moment that comes on their family, let there be massive deliverances. At the count of four, that will happen now. One, two, three, four. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out right now. Inside, outside. I'm seeing the spirit of God. There's fire. Moving to families. Please let's save time. Shabbat At the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord. Upon that situation of witchcraft. Inside, outside. It's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. I come with a word of prophecy. I prophesy as I've been commanded. Miracles. Deliverances for families enough is enough oh God bring them there are so many people outside so many people outside all the overflows I see miracles it's like fire it's like fire hallelujah keep your hands down I'm seeing fire and it's going to come upon the heads of people. And the Lord is saying it is still the deliverance. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Right now, all over the congregation. I prophesy it like fire. I see like an eruption. A volcanic eruption coming on the heads of people. The heads of people. Shake it, Where you are, the fire will meet you there. Where you are, where you are, the enemy has done this. We command every havoc, we command every havoc. I tell you, I see deliverance for many families. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
Say in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit. Causing the tragedies. In my family. Be exposed now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. As you are praying. The power of God will come upon you. As you are praying. The power of God will come upon you. Be exposed. The spirits. Eating of finances. Eating of joy. Eating of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see written on this pulpit altars, and I want to pray. An altar is a platform erected by men that grants access to spiritual operations. Altars, 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 altars. At the count of seven, I tell you many people, this is not just families now. One, two, three, four, get ready. Five, six, seven, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Altars catch fire. Altars catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shake it, take it, poro sotoba. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to call situations. The moment I call them, all those who are victims of it, the power of God will come upon them. Please, we are going to be fast. Right now I pray the spirit of failure upon people. I'm seeing it. Lord, wherever they are, right now, at the count of three, let there be an exposition. One, two, Three, go, go, go. Failure, failure, failure. Causing failure in lives. Failure in destinies. Failure in ministries. Failure in business. Failure in academics. Every form of failure. Fire is coming on it right now. Fire is coming on it right now. Inside, outside. No, you can't stand it. It's your deliverance. It's your word. It's your prophecy. It's your word. That's why you came. Failure. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm seeing chains. And the Lord is saying, let delay leave my people. That's what I'm hearing. Lord, where are those whose lives have been under one spot? Inside and outside. At the count of three, I like you to shout, Jesus, delay is leaving now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Delay, delay, delay of all kinds, of all kinds. 
Harato soto peketesh. Delay. Delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. Be broken now. Now. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I break that chain now. 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 That chain of delay. That chain of delay is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking delay. Listen. Hallelujah. I've prayed this prayer in this place before. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. That the destinies of men can be exchanged. So that you are walking, but you are not living your destiny. It's like you are living another person's life. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please take this prayer seriously. It will do wonders in your life. Lift your hands. Inside and outside. And you watch what will happen now. Lord, I pray. My God, I'm telling you, all I'm seeing in this place is fire. Any man here, any woman whose destiny has been exchanged so that the life you are living is not your blueprint right now. Let the exchange, let there be another exchange, another exchange, another exchange. The power of God is coming on people right now. Right now, right now, release their destiny. Release that mother's destiny now. Release that mother's destiny now. My goodness. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. You can't leave another person's script. Every witchcraft, every manipulation. I cause it now. I cause it now. I cause it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people with strange movements in their body. I tell you, I feel fire. It's like people are literally bathing in fire. Strange movements. I want to pray. There are many ladies, many mothers under this category. Right now in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every stranger, there is a lady, you feel a physical snake, physical snake moving on your body. But right now in Jesus name, at the count of three, fire from the throne. Fire from the throne. I command those spirits roaming around the bodies of God's people. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go now. Leave their bodies. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please sisters lift your hands. I want to pray. A very powerful prayer for our sisters. The devil will prefer. To get one woman. To ten men. Because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, no power will stand. Something is about to jump out of somebody's life. Ah, yeah, yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Let her go right now. Your destiny must open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain. Lift your hands, sisters.
there are many ladies here under several oppressions that's why many things are not working but sisters as surely as the lord lives at the count of three i like you to shout jesus you will be surprised to see what will happen to you are you ready one two three deliverance for you right now deliverance help them my goodness please help them gates 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 be broken gates be broken papataya gates be broken gates be broken gates be broken i'm praying it again lift your hands ay, ay, ay. every devil that came here with you must let you go lift your hands there are sisters there is already a programming on your destiny to fail a programming to be barren who is this god that can look into time wherever they are at the count of three may the power of god fish them out one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire i open your destiny every lady every sister you are a gate you are a gate in the realm of the spirit mighty deliverance mighty breakthrough mighty breakthrough mighty breakthrough is over is over is over by the power of the holy ghost over 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for the brothers. Lift your hands. Listen, let me tell you. There is a spirit that makes men not to be productive. Hear me. It's a, it's, it's a mighty deliverance that will happen to many men right now. Pay attention. There are men who are just going old. There's nothing happening in their lives. It's not your fault. There are keys that have been withheld from you. But that thief must be exposed. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Ancestry. That's the first thing we are dealing with the brothers. Brothers, lift your hands. I want to pray. Many of you will be surprised to see what happens. Every spirit of ancestry, every spirit of inheritance over any brother here, stopping his advancement at the count of three, some of you will be very surprised. That fire will come on you. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take it. Take it, take it, that fire, help them please, help them, my goodness, brothers are coming under this unction, it's time to move forward, it's time to move forward, help them, I cause that spirit, I cause that spirit, I cause that spirit, hallelujah god does this all the time and i don't know why god is doing this again <laughs> ah. if he did it before he can do it again Sing. Listen, 
I see something strange happening. Strange happening. Strange happening in the spirit. And I'm seeing the spirit of the Lord moving. And God is saying he's visiting Easterners. Easterners, evil people. That's what I'm seeing. There are altars that need to be broken. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray right now. Wherever they are, always he will do it. You are from the east, get set. Be sensitive. Come on, you shouldn't be doing that. Shaparatoka paratia. Isanans. Lord, wherever they are, it will come like fire on you. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Spirit of God goes to the east. The Spirit of God goes to the east and is bringing deliverance. Deliverance. Strange deliverance. Ibo people. Strange deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost is visiting your soil, visiting your foundation, visiting your soil. If it did it before, it can do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. If it did it before. Abia, 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 Abia said, Shaka Tabarata, Abia, Abia, the Spirit of God is moving across Abia, miracles, breaking foundations. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why God does these things. There are signs and wonders. He steps into, you will see the testimonies that will come from this thing. Strange visitation. Lift your hands, everybody. Joshua Selman. God, please. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm walking in the spirit and I see a map. And the Lord is asking me to jump upon it. And I see Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. That's what I see. Right now, Lord, at your word, move. Southern Kaduna. Visiting men and women. That's what the spirit of God is saying. I speak it. I place the word of God upon it. Lord, go to that region right now. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna from Saminaka to Zonkua. Everywhere. Move. Let the power of God touch people. Liberty for territories. Liberty for territories. No matter where you are, I'm telling you. Southern Kaduna, fire is falling. Fire is falling upon your soil. Upon your soil, Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, that's what I see. Southern Kaduna, connected to Southern Kaduna, there is a miracle happening. Altars in Southern Kaduna, I come against you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Leave God's people now. Listen, let me tell you, this operation of the spirit, I found it working in my life, is powerful. God just calls a territory and everyone is like a digital spiritual system. It's not something you just do by guesswork. It's the spirit of God. 
the spirit of God. The spirit of God. God is still touching Kaduna people. I'm still hearing it in my spirit. God is still touching Kaduna people. There's no escape. Any family tied to any altar comes under fire. Any Kaduna family married to Kaduna living in Kaduna state Hallelujah. Please lift your hands while still praying. I want to pray for students now. Something miraculous will happen here now. I want to pray for students because I see conspiracy to short circuit people's performances. I'm going to pray. But there is a God in heaven with an all-seeing eye. And there is an unction he can release. I'm going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that will come. The way God is working this night is very supernatural. If the power of God comes upon you, I want you to know that an angel is doing something over your result. Just hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Father, there are people whose results need to be worked upon divinely. And where are they? I see almost 45 people. Right now at the count of three. One. Results. Two. Three. Let the angels begin to move. As they move, it will affect you. As the power of God touches you, your result is being worked upon. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Results, results. Carry of us. Receiving the mercy of God. Receiving the mercy of God. God upgrading CGPS. Upgrading CGPS. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. CGPS. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernaturally. By the creative power of prophecy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to let you smile. Hear me. That joy and laughter will not come out of your mouth. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. I bring that thing under fire. Amen. I bring it under fire. Amen. I bring it under fire. Amen. Shake a ta ta ta. I bring it under fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands and be silent if you can. A miracle is happening. A miracle is happening. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing letters in the spirit. And these are employment letters. Hold on. Just keep your hand. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You will be surprised. Many of you for you and for your loved ones. The Lord is just asking. Just lift your hands. Father, at least 17 people inside outside there are up to five people online supernatural jobs may the angels of breakthrough take this word to the people right now right now right now right now receive it receive those letters in the spirit receive it in the spirit receive it in the spirit receive it in the spirit, in the spirit. for you for your loved ones I don't care what they read. I don't care what they have. We give them jobs. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I see at least four people. 
Three of them are ladies in the congregation. Your mothers are due for promotion. But they've done everything they know to do. As I'm speaking right now, an anointing will come upon you to signify what he's doing to them. Lord, go ahead. Locate them. Promotion. I force it. I force it now. I force that promotion. Take it. Carry it for your mothers. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. The judgment of God. going to pray for the sick but um, there are two women I want to pray for here you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb now I know there are many people listen there are two women particularly one of them the anointing of please no standing for wife no standing for anybody if you are not the person um, sit down if you are not married, don't come here. Praise God. Please. The two women by themselves. I'm going to pray. That lady, oh, let me let me let me pray for her. That devil, let her go. Don't disturb us, don't waste our time. Out! Out now! Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. You are living, release her family. Release our destiny right now. The noise maker, out you go and don't waste our time in Jesus' name. I set her free in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. We are going to pray for those two women. I don't know if there are here, the two of them here. There's one of them. Um, I'm seeing one of them. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon her. I don't know who that person is. But there's one. Please, we have such people. We have to be fast. If I mention your case, once we give you one minute, there's no response. We have to move so that God can help us, please. Except if they are outside there, then that's all right. The married women that need the fruit of the womb, we have to pray for them right now. Praise the Lord. How many of us are trusting God for healing miracles in our bodies? Let me see your hands. I know many of our mothers are in this category. No matter what the case is, who is stand up? Come on down. The power of God will come upon that person. Please make sure they are married, though. Please stand up, stand up, madam. It's okay. Um, madam, madam, it's okay. Please. Madam, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. How many years have you been married? 20 years. 20 years. No child. Look at me. 20 years. Madam, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. 20 years of marriage. If, if that woman gave birth to a child by now, that's the other person, right? Wariness. Why am I seeing her? I'm seeing chains around her stomach. You must remove it now. Remove it now. You are a devil of darkness. You hear my voice. Take off that chains now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as barrenness. It's nonsense. When a spirit sits on your stomach, there's no way a child will come. If you like, do whatever. You go to India and come back. You only waste money. But there is a God. Madam, please look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you here with your husband? You came. And you decided to. Where is your husband? Okay. okay, look at me, madam. Do you believe God can give you a child? I believe that's why I came. It's okay, it's okay, madam. Look at me. Look at me, madam. Place your hand on your stomach. 
I want to pray. How many of us believe this woman will come and stand and testify? If you are doubting this, you've not been in Koinonia. Madam, look at me. I want you to shout as loud as you can. I receive. Just shout it. I receive this God, ba. Let me tell you that is that is not working in your life does not mean it's not available. I've told you this thing. You have to believe there are dimensions in God. This woman you see will come and stand here with her child. Why is she here, madam? Why are you here? You are married for how many years? Give her the mic. How many years? Ten years. The anointing is on you. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me, madam. Shout, I receive, if you believe. I receive. <laughs> There's something leaving your body now. Let it go. You are a devil. Let her go right now. Something is coming out of your stomach. That's what I'm saying. That's what has stopped your barrenness. Go and have your child. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me pray. Madam, make sure you people return with your testimonies. You want to pray. Is your husband here? Husband, please come, sir. I want to pray for you. Marriage is between two people, not three people. I look in the spirit and I'm seeing three people. Somebody is a stranger in this equation. Please come, sir. I'm seeing a third person in the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. I'm seeing a third person in the realm of the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. The devil is a liar. We are going to pray. Please hold your hands together. Just in one of your hands. Yes, I want to pray. Please put your hand on your Watch what happens to you. <sighs> there is a name, oh. There is a name. There is a name. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them, leave them, leave them. There is a name. Let her go. Strangers, Kabataya. What God has joined together, I'm prophesying. That's why I said, hold your hands. Anybody whose hand is not held physically should not be in this equation. Therefore, I prophesy. Any stranger, release what you are put in her stomach now. I'm seeing a snake. That's what I see in the spirit. I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Kaparatakaya. Marriage was done legally. Therefore, you are an illegal occupant. Release her now. Let there be miracle children. Miracle children. I'm seeing a lady in the crowd. You are standing in for your sister who has been married for five years. Who is that? I want to pray for that person. Five years. Your sister has been married five years. No child. No child. You are the one. Where is she? What's her name? Deborah. Where is she? She's in Kenya. How many years? Five years. No child. No child. My brother, six years. And you, the devil, wants to give you four years. Or oh, cancel it. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My, my destiny, destiny today. Oh, change my destiny. Destiny. destiny today. Destiny changer. You are a destiny changer. Oh, my change my destiny. My destiny today. Hold on. Please, don't just come out at will. What's it? Hold on, hold on. Coordinate yourself. Who is this? Hold on, hold on. Leave them, leave them. It's okay. Victor, leave her. It's okay. Calm down. How many years? Nine years. Huh? Nine years. Where is she? She's in Azarembauchi. 
Kikia mata. Zate samu yembiu. Amen. Why are you here, my dear? She has been coming with courages. For how many years? Yes. Three years. Her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? Did you hear what I said? I said her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? The man is the head of the family. See, this thing is being done by an anointing. It's not, it's not, it's not joke. It's an anointing. Look at me. Listen, every lady, place your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Just, just place your hand and leave it there. Hold on. Not, not for the brothers. Brothers, you don't have a womb. Just calm down. I know I'm praying for the sisters. That's why I'm praying. Because you see, listen. <laughs> just follow what I'm doing. You will be surprised to see what will happen. The Bible, the Bible does not allow you to test whether you are pregnant first before you marry. Is that true? So there is no way you know. You just marry and then find out it's a disaster for a man, a family to pay the price, pay dowry and get married and then there's that nonsense. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Let's attack it in advance. If you care for the prayer, lay your hands. For some of you, God is saving you years of misery. I'm seeing a number 21. And this is at least 21 people and families involved. Father, visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. I'm praying a miracle is happening to your womb. Visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. Right now, everything that wants to plant barrenness in your stomach, for every lady here and those watching online, I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Hold that baby. You, Ejimi, please give her that child. Just hold her so she doesn't fall. Just hold that baby. You are holding this child as a prophetic symbolism for your sister for you when you get married and for every other person and for two other people who are in the congregation this prophecy is connecting them where are they oh God where are they oh God the anointing of the spirit will locate them now right now two of them in the congregation for this miracle for this miracle for this miracle that is sir please let me talk to you just give a few minutes. You and the madam close to you. Mommy, please come. You are an usher, but you are praying. Come. Let God answer your prayers. This lady is talking to the Lord. What was the issue? It's my sister. You are asking the Lord to do what? Yes, sir. She has put to bed in time. But none of them is alive. Because I'm seeing a spirit. As soon as she's giving birth. This is like an antelope. It eats the children. As in, it's the child. Sometimes most of the children will grow. Nine months you give birth. Then they will last for only a few minutes. And they will die. Hold my hands. Where is she? Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Where is she? What's her name? Laddie. Laddie. Laddie will speak to you. Lay your hand on your stomach. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this, this, this frustration is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is I want to pray for you. Mama. Good evening, ma. Just please stand up. Who is the stubborn child that you want God to touch? Lift his picture up. Victor. 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 
This is your number one prayer. The one you want to marry. Where is the person? The one you want a job for that graduated. Job, job, the one that graduated. The graduates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Henry. Mama, this is to tell you that God knows your situation. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This boy needs to be prayed for. So that this boy, so that they will not go and lock him in police station. Yeah? This, I don't know who the boy is, but... Let it stop on, sir. That's what I'm saying, madam. It's okay. You are here for God to visit you. Amen. Amen. Who is Nonso? Nonso. Nonso. I'm hearing the name Nonso. We are going to pray. Nonso. Mama, we are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? Very soon. Solomon, you want to marry. He's he planning want... for his wedding, sir. Okay, it's alright. We'll, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I pray for you. You came here expecting the power of God to touch you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, sir. Mama, do you want the pain in your body to stop? Yes, sir. You wake yes, up in the Lord. morning and there's severe pain yes, in your Lord. back. Sir, you know about this thing. I know, sir. True. And the Lord is going to do a great miracle for Mama. Amen. Because, Mama, I'm seeing you. You can't wash for long. Yes, you bend down to wash and your back is pain. Yes, Thank you, Father. In the okay, name of sir. Jesus Christ, the Lord who has seen you is going to do a miracle for you. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help mama you, in Father. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank Please, you, Father. Don't, who is this? Eh? No, so, my friend, are you not so? Help the boy, his trouser is removing. Who is that? Who brought him out? Who should help him now? <laughs> Sir. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I'm the proprietor of his school. I'm a pastor. I'm a civil engineer by training. You own a school? Yes, sir. Primary school? Nursery and primary. Nursery and primary? Yes, sir. You've been afraid to start the secondary school? Seriously, sir. Is that true? Because what is happening in the primary, up and down, up and down, people are taking their children out of your school. And they are owing money. And they are owing money. And you are trusting God for a miracle. Because you too, you need a lot of money now. As you are standing here like this, you need money. Very correct, sir. And this money is much. Don't collect loan. Don't collect loan. Loan is a way to die. Time to destiny. Don't collect loan. Sir, I want to pray for you. One of the things you are going to start seeing as you minister the word is breakthrough. You will start seeing strange breakthroughs. Amen. In the lives of people. Amen. And then we want to pray for your school, sir. Things are going down. Yes. What you need is not money. What you need is very qualified teachers who are really willing to teach you. Because the people there, they will come today, a few months, they want to leave. And when they, you know, they want, I will have to pray for you. The devil is a liar. Please lift your hands, sir. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing for speed come upon you, sir. Supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and speed for you. Mama, God bless you. Please, who is this? Please, if we have not called your case, just be patient. We are going to pray for the sick now. Why is Mama here? Mommy, please come. Huh? Your son's name is Nonso. What's your name? Nonso. From where? Madam State. You are a student here? Dark. Dark. Who is Chidi? I'm hearing the name Chidi. Chidi. Chidi, let me pray for the person now. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, 
what you need this one is not i'm not even getting any word for your son or so what god is saying i should prophesy to you is that he's bringing restoration to your life god is saying i should tell you you see that song that i sang at the beginning of the meeting yes we are carry i'm speaking house sir it's finished that's what god is saying i should tell you that is going to bring restoration to your life supernatural restoration right now by the power of the holy spirit hold my hands I'm not getting any prophetic word for you, but in the name of Jesus, may God step in and do a miracle for you. Come, come and get in something. You need to pray. Huh? You need academic breakthrough. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Please, why are these people here? Huh? John. You are serving in prison. Have you started serving? Yes. In the place where? In the state books. Father, give him favor. As you go, let there be favor in Jesus' name. Amen. You are what? John. John. From where? Zaria. I said, Sam, Father John. But since you have come out, let me pray for you. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. You love God? Hi. John. John, look at me. God can give you a new beginning. You hear what I'm saying? It's when I make altar call, John, run and join them. Huh? I'm going to pray for you, but that statement you made is not true. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you see, you have to be serious with God. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. She's older than she actually is. Huh? And there is a there is there is a medical condition. This is a feminine thing that I'm seeing that is responsible for this. Um can I help, sir? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, Turan Shima, you, you understand English? I'm seeing happy birthday on top of you, and I'm seeing 50 years. How old are you? Shakaran Kina. Upon me on 66. 1966. How old is that? This woman is 50, but she's looking like 70. The devil is a liar. Huh? I'm seeing something. It's not something I can say in the open, but you need to be healed. And this thing started happening to you since tune you were about 17 years. Yes, about 17 years this thing started. This is a serious woman issue. This is women talk. Father, we cancel this nonsense. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must live in Jesus' name. Beginning from today, experience the goodness of God in Jesus' name. May the Lord favor you too in Jesus' name. We want to pray for the sick now. This, this is our miracle service. Bear with us. We have to deal with these things. You see that there are so many, there are so many situations. We are praying. Everyone, you can be seated if you can or stand. We are soon going to be done. But I want us to pray. Are we together? Say after me, inside and outside, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please say it like you are serious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare. that every closed gate standing before my destiny under this corporate anointing swing open now lift your voice and begin to pray please we are not just whiling away time pray participate in the prayer some of us that's what is that's what is affecting our lives every gate every gate every gate every gate every gate Over my finances, over every area of my life, be open now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I will still prophesy it upon your life. Say in the name of Jesus. I call forth. By the power of prayer. Every helper. Who will give me access. To resources. To opportunities. And to new levels. I call them into my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. This is a powerful prayer. It's a very powerful prayer. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like you to prophesy. And say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. As I enter this ember months. I declare that the mystery of divine preservation is upon my life. No death, no accident, no bad news. Lift your voice and cancel bad news. Make sure you are praying. Some of you are just looking. Pray. It's a very serious prayer point. No bad news. I speak upon my life the mystery of divine exemption
outside don't be tired you're working out your salvation with fear and trembling before we pray on the request I'd like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus how about now let's be serious in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. September, September October, October November, November December Hear my voice. I speak to you. Deliver to my life. Only blessings. No pain. No sorrow. No regrets. Go ahead and prophesy. Release power to your future. Release power to September. You shut your mouth. You shut your destiny. Release power to September. Release power to October. Release power to November. December. No plane crash. No bus crash. No armed robbery. No terrorism. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus I declare A covering Over me And my family members Wherever they are The seal of the blood Exempts them from tragedy Listen I shared some months ago Hold on I shared some months ago a vision that the Lord showed me. I'm not one person who will stand and say, I saw this. Sometimes I see these things. I just pray. But it was upon my spirit and I said it. Remember, I spoke about the month of September. Everything you see us do here is prophetic. As you speak, it looks like you are joking. But you are releasing power to your future. He said, declares thou that he might be justified. Hast thou commanded thy morning? You don't sit down and it delivers everything to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say in the name of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon my life and my family members. Therefore, every spirit of death and loss and disaster must pass over my life and my family. Lift your voice and pray. No, not upon my life. Not upon my loved ones. They are sealed by the mystery of the blood. No accident. No accident. No death. No obituary. No plane crash. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to turn your request to testimonies. Go ahead. All those online, follow us. We are praying. You submitted your requests and we are praying. Every request. Oh God, you have produced testimonies. Shaba katata. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. Let there be miracles, testimonies, breakthroughs. Turn around impossible situations, oh God. Let the barren come back to children. Let the poor return rich. Let the captive be set free. Let sinners come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Let your breath be delivered. Let the sick be healed. Let jobless people return to jobs. Building projects completed. Spirit. 
spiritual lives be fired. Pray, pray. I'm going to prophesy upon this request and I want us to agree with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, I use this as a point of contact. Lord, there are so many requests here representing the challenges in people's lives. Some for jobs, some for marriages, some for children some for breakthroughs some for study um, scholarships others for help others for reconciliation others for souls others for financial prosperity and breakthrough others for restoration some for deliverance others for healing lord i pray in the name that is above all names we have a covenant of answered prayers with you therefore lord arise as a mighty man and turn every prayer request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all those who have sent their requests on Facebook, on Twitter, on any other platform. Lord, in the name of Jesus, give them strange visitations. Strange visitations from tonight. Strange visitations. And Lord, for every request that made it to this altar, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Turn every request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. I really apologize. Let me prophesy over our lives. Do you know why prophecy is very powerful? Most of the testimonies that you hear, listen, most of the testimonies that you hear are as a result of these prophetic words. Are we together? There are needs that God may not reveal and time may not permit to be able to extensively deal with. However, prophecy is powerful. It says in Numbers chapter 6 how that the priest will bless them and speak upon their life. There is something about a prophetic word coming upon your life. Those who know this, that is their edge in the spirit, have received it and it has produced dramatic results in their lives. Those who are careless about it like they are about many other things, never really get to receive anything. Let me tell you, even if it's an impartation, even if it's a dimension of breakthrough, for as long as you stepped your feet here and for all the thousands following us online, connect. Connect. Distance is no barrier in the spirit. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing and you have turned my sorrow into joy. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy like you have never experienced from January till now. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Joy like you have never experienced. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I speak to your hands. Whoever is not doing anything here. Because God said be fruitful. I don't care whether it's a job, a business. I don't care whether you're a student, a graduate, a retiree. Whoever is having an idle hand between now and September miracle service I put something in your hand I put something in your hand I put something in your hand in the name of Jesus not something that will mock you something that will bring results in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I put pressure on your destiny helpers. I put pressure on them. May they respond to you. I put pressure on their spirits. May they arise and help you. May they arise and help you. 
Hallelujah. Any situation in your life that is a recurrent decimal, it comes as though the breakthrough is coming, then the situation repeats itself. I prophesy no more. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus, no more. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Someone is speaking here like Mary and saying, how shall these things be? Lord, I, is it true that you will turn my life? I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray. A turn around that will surprise you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A dramatic turn around. A dramatic turn around. Hallelujah. 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 In the last one month of my life, God has brought breakthroughs and things to my life that I have always believed God. But there is something God can do in your life that will make you fear Him. Not just believe Him. I prophesy to someone here. In the name that is above all names. That flight in the spirit that God can take a man and bring acceleration and not just surprise you but even make you fear. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in business here and it's no stiving. Things are not happening. You turn everywhere. You've done everything you know to do. You need the prophetic. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. Every dream that is still on paper, no finances, no grace to bring it out of paper. You have been writing things for donkey years, but the grace to put it at work, I declare between now and next, next month miracle service, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring results, bring results in the name of Jesus. Anyone called jobless in this place, that you have done everything to do, including giving money to people, and they have not brought jobs to you. I don't know how God will do it. But this mountain mover that can shake every mountain, I pray, may he give you not just a job, a miracle job. Miracle job. Hallelujah. Every family here that is stuck in one place, you try to rise, something brings you down. You try to rise, something brings you down. Now I prophesy to you the grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every embargo of bad luck upon your life. It works for others until it gets to your point and people change their mind. I declare in the name of Jesus in a way you have never seen favor and help. May you experience that throughout the month of September. Hallelujah. A dimension of anointing a dimension of wisdom that you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus receive wisdom in the name of Jesus receive wisdom in the name of Jesus and I pray for you everything that needs to be broken in your life habits and encumbrances that tie you down I command that today is their barrier today is their barrier today is their barrier I want to prophesy for someone who has never stood here to testify in the name of Jesus whatever has stopped you from climbing this altar to testify I curse that spirit right now I curse that spirit right now I curse that spirit right now I curse that spirit right now
Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. I want to speak to you. Everything that makes money run away from your hands. Money has a spirit. You have obeyed kingdom laws, but this thing is not just coming. You would try and labor and labor and nothing will come. These hands that are stretched towards me, as I stretch my hands back to you, by the mystery of divine supply, may you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold an amount you have never held in your life before. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. I pray for your spiritual life. Everything that is alive grows. If you are not growing spiritually, something is wrong. And the measure, there are two indices to measure your spiritual growth. Number one, your degree of conformity to the image of the Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Alongside their operation. How to make them produce consistently. I pray for you this month. As we round up this month into the next month. Keys that your hands have never held spiritually. Hold them right now in Jesus name. Keys, mysteries that you have not known. Or mysteries you have had and have not been able to handle. May God give it to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, this is the prayer that I pray for people with all my heart. He said... You shall anoint, listen, you shall anoint Aaron and his sons, right? And then he said, you shall take some of your honor and put upon him. How do you take honor and put upon him? Honor, the spiritual mystery that turns a man to a celebrity, not by walking it. Honor is when men have the capacity to discern and reward what you represent. Hallelujah. I was coming from Abuja today and I stopped in Kaduna at a particular computer outfit just to buy, to quickly buy a laptop and proceed. And as soon as I stepped there, I entered, I saw all of them looking at me. They started jumping as if it was a crusade. Apostle Joshua Selman, I was so embarrassed. They ran, went and called their father, the owner of the place, uh, they call it Micro Manor in, in, in Kaduna. You know, and they were jumping and they looked, they said, ah, we, you have been blessed by your teachings, you know, God has lifted us, you can imagine the things that have happened, and they said, which laptop are you buying, and all of that, and I looked at them, I had to just run away and go out, because I didn't want a situation where they are doing business, they carry something that is so costly, and key. let me tell you, honor is more than money, oh. don't be deceived, money is very finite, Honor is when men rise up to solve your problems for you. They rise up and make it their business to see you succeed. May somebody here receive that mantle. May somebody here receive that mantle. May a pastor here receive that mantle. May a businessman receive that mantle. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Hallelujah. When you are minding your business and some people are talking and say, how do we bless this lady? As if they owe you. They get up and plan governmental figures discussing how to lift you. And people say, what is the big deal? There is a big deal. It's a mantle. Please, I want to pray it finally. I know, I know that our time is gone. But I want you to receive this thing. There are people here carrying it bodily. When you carry it, it speaks. See, let me tell you. The true proof of sonship is a replication of grace. A replication of grace. A replication that you are carrying something you know. The devil knows and heaven knows that this is like an address. It will cause good things to look for you. I want to pray for you. Honor makes your life easy. Otherwise, you will suffer for anything. Everything. You are in trouble. You pay for it alone. There is a mystery of honor. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I pray for you, my God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your people in this great house. You have placed your mantle of honor upon this house and by grace upon my life. 
I'm praying right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Ay, 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 ay. In a dimension you have never seen. Or for those of you who have seen a measure of it in a higher dimension. Receive that mantle of honor. 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 Keep standing everybody. I want to make an altar call now. Please no moving around. Let's honor what God is doing. No sitting down. Just five minutes and we're done. Thank you so much for your patience. We stretched the time quite. Um, but I think that it's worth it. If you pay that much price and you come back with tears some testimonies, it's a wise baguette. There are still people under the anointing. God is still doing things. And even after the service, God is still going to be touching people. But very quickly, I want to make a call. There are people outside all the overflows, any of them. And there are people following us online. You are saying, man of God, I heard you speak. And whilst you spoke, the Holy Spirit convicted my heart and told me it's time to make a commitment or a rededication. For some of you, this is your first time making a genuine decision for Jesus. Others, you have made that decision, but you are rededicating yourself. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front. Make sure that you do not leave this place without making that decision. God bless you. There are people coming. God bless you. God bless you. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. God bless you, young and old. Clear the way for them. Please, if you are coming from outside, I want you to save time. Double up, hurry up and come. God bless you. Alana Bakasuchi Ata Alana Bakasuchi Ata Keep coming Alana Bakasuchi Ata Keep coming quickly, please hold on thank you so much for coming men and women people who love god listen no matter what has happened in your life no matter what you have done i don't want you to stand here feeling guilty rebels don't come to god they run away from god so that you are here in his presence some of you are rededicating your life some of you are doing so for the first time it doesn't matter what category i want you to lift your right hand please if you are still coming join them very quickly lift your right hand and say after me very clearly you are not reciting a poem say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you died for me to prove your love for me and now i give my heart to you to prove my love for you I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm above sin. I'm above Satan. I'm above the flesh. In the name of Jesus, from today, I declare that I have the life of God. I'm a child of God. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. And I am victorious. In the name of Jesus, keep your hands lifted, please. Father, thank you for these ones. You have drawn them by your wisdom. Let today be the beginning of, of great days in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that everything they have laid at your altar will remain there and never cling to their lives again. Open them up to a new dimension of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I ask that you come into the lives of every one of these precious people. In the name of Jesus use them for your glory give them tearful testimonies in the name of jesus i pray amen thank you so much for making this decision now i'd like you to follow this gentleman and the lady waving their hands they will have your details in a minute and then you'll be back to your seat god bless you honor them koinonia hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. 
that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.